Hi Taurus, how are you? I hope you're having a great day so far. I hope that you're having a good rest of your Mercury retrograde. Just a little reminder, anything that's coming up to heal, it is time to release. Mercury retrograde ends on the 10th. Yeah, the 10th of March and then the Virgo full moon will be on the 9th. Time to reap your harvest. Guys, I feel like with some of this healing work you've done, I feel like duality. And I don't just mean it could mean pertaining to some of you twin flame, soulmate, what, however that resonates with you. We'll see what comes up in the card. But I do feel like duality within yourself. Coming to a completion. Coming into this person that you are meant to be at your highest vibrational life. Oh my goodness, I hope so. So, um, we are going to get some messages from Mother Gaia because I do believe that Mother Gaia needs us right now as well as we need Mother Gaia. Time to shoot our roots down into Mother Gaia. Use her light as assistance at this time. Any messages of light codes, anything like that, it is time to care for Mother Gaia. Remember, we are all trying to raise the vibration of Mother Gaia um, and you do play a big part in that, okay? Okay, so I am going to read the passages from these as well, um, and you guys can kind of take in the affirmation, uh, breathe it in, see how you feel. You're welcome to repeat it after me too, okay? What does Taurus need to know? Whoa, okay. Oh, yes, beautiful. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing, oh, you've got three cards, guys, that's great. Okay, so the first thing I'm seeing is harmony. Mm, yes, like I said, it feels like this harmony of yourself. It's like you have this beautiful symphony right? And you guys have finally gotten the hang of it, gotten your unique vibration. I love that. So listen to this. Harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. Yes, if you guys have been feeling really weighed down by this Mercury retrograde, by the Piscean energy, guys, it is about to change. I believe after this healing, after this completion and balance within yourself, you are stepping into your power. You are feeling harmonious in your life. Oh my goodness, let's see what Mother Gaia has to say about that. And for anyone who does follow um, numerology, that is a three. Okay, guys. Harmony, power, self-confidence, and productivity. This card is a period of inner and outer harmony. In the coming months, you will feel an increased sense of self-confidence, which will be greater in your productivity. It is as if you have learned to harness the primal forces of nature and able to channel energy in a powerful and meaningful way to achieve your goals. You are guiding the stars in a harmonious alignment, and it is present. This is a fortunate time for you, and this period will continue for several months. Be mindful of the power you have at present. Honor it, respect it, and use it wisely. What you learn this time will help you greatly in the future. Observe your state of mind during this time, as well as your actions and how others react to you. Notice how many doors open and how previously paths that were not accessible have now become clear of obstacles. All your desire comes to you with a little effort, all because there is harmony in your inner and outer world. Remember in the future, it will serve you well. Oh my gosh, guys, yes, just coming into complete balance, stepping into your own power, knowing that you have a, this is a message from spirit, okay? Knowing that you have a sword to wield and be careful with how you wield it because people are following you right now. Also another time for you to notice what is not harmonious in your life, right? You're starting to probably notice people falling, things falling, careers falling, but also with those things falling off that do not serve you anymore, those paths that come open to you, they might've been doors you didn't expect to open to you. Time of manifestation and positive thinking. Okay, here is your affirmation. You're welcome to breathe it in. You can repeat it. Do whatever you feel in your heart, okay? I am one with the forces of nature. I am one with earth and all of creation. I use my power wisely and to the great effect. I create harmony in my life through love and acceptance. I achieve my goals with ease. Yes, it's like things are attracted to you. Like you're drawing in things that you probably didn't even expect to attract. But I'm seeing very like Ace of Swords and I'm also feeling King of Swords, a lot of sword energy. I feel like you guys are becoming really powerful. And like I said, like Spirit said, make sure you wield that sword, that power, from a good mindset. Not that you guys aren't being positive or that you won't, but just know that people are listening right now. Oh my gosh, power, self-confidence, and productivity. What more could you ask for? 
Ooh, okay, this is interesting, this coming in right now. I feel like this is the state you're about to be in after Mercury retrograde is over. This could be your current position right now, or it could pertain to a different life path in general, someone else. This is reflection. Ooh, this, this is speaking to me as something that you're kind of going through right now, okay? Okay, reflection, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. distortion. It feels like very Seven of Cups, like you had all these things, these options, but each of them have a different path, a different way you could go, but each of them have a different outcome. Some that are positive, some that are not. So this could be you going through and really doing your self-reflecting right now, taking a moment and deciding what serves me, what does not serve me, maybe even dealing with issues of shadow self. Also past life karma, coming up as well as uh, any childhood trauma and anything you have gone through in this life. It is a time to reflect with this Mercury retrograde so that we take a different pathway this time, the pathway that serves us best. That is a 13 breaking down into a four. So far you have a three and a four, you have a story, okay? All right, ooh, okay. I almost just read the dream to you. Hey guys, uh, watch your dream space too, okay? They might have answers, spirits trying to get to you in your dreams as well, okay? Reflection, illusion, self-examination, and distortion. Ooh, mirrors. Yeah, this feels really shadowy, guys. What you see around you mirrors what you feel within you. The chaos you perceive or the experience in your physical reality simply reflects your inner chaos and turmoil. If things are not working out well in your outer world, what is not working out well within you? This card calls for self-examinations. Do not merely skim the surface. You must delight to uncover the deep truth. This will take time, patience, and commitment. Observe your thoughts, your feelings throughout the day, and make a note of negative or unconstructive thoughts and feelings. This practice over time within itself will help heal and restore balance to your life. It may be helpful to keep a diary in which you note your thoughts and feelings, what it is that triggers those thoughts and feelings. Journal writing will also help you provide that the journal is for your eyes only. It may be helpful to seek professional advice from a qualified health counselor or practitioner who has experience in this field. Commit to this reflected journey. Be disciplined in your approach and you will never look back. The rewards are greater than you ever imagined. Holy crap. You guys, if you're not doing this shadow work already, guys, I'm telling you, maybe get some advice. Be very discerning with who you trust, who touches you, things like that. You know that that's a great lesson in life, but like maybe look into getting some Reiki or um, someone who specializes in like shadow work. Time for you to dive deep into the subconscious and the ego. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Listen affirmation. My heart is full of love and light. All is well within my world. I feel the peace within me. This creates peace around me. I observe all I think and feel about. I think and feel. Each negative thought or feeling is automatically transformed into love. Yes, it is a time for you to switch up the feeling, the thought process. Yes, it's okay to feel what you feel. Whatever is bubbling to the surface with this Mercury retrograde, guys, it's meant to serve a purpose. It's meant to be released from you. Whatever is coming up at this time, really dive deep into your trauma and figure out why you are reacting this way. But it's so easy to just switch, right? If we catch ourselves thinking negative thoughts, that is the first step, right? Oh, oh, why am I thinking that? I don't want to manifest that. That's not really what's going on in my world. What's going on in my world is all as well. But once you go through this time of reflection, the shadow self, whatever it is that's bubbling over for you to heal, you are coming into harmony, power. It's like you're this new person with a clean slate. Oh my God. Ooh, Ooh, amethyst. This could be a call for you to really, uh, if you're into stones or crystals or things like that, use amethyst for assistance. That is all about your third eye and your crown and your psychic abilities, as well as protection, okay? Uh, transformation, certainty, and confidence. It almost feels like the high priestess card, like you know what you want and you trust your intuition. Like whatever it is that you're healing right now, you're going to come into a state of this new being, this power you're stepping into. This is two confidence cards right here. Guys, after you heal this crap, I feel like it's gone. You know what I mean? Like you have truly divin, divin, is that a word? Dove? 
<laughs> dove deep into the subconscious, into the ego mind. Why am I feeling this? Why is this being brought up? And guys, once you do, holy crap, this is all about the being you're transforming into and you know what you want. And even that, not just knowing what you want, you know what serves you and you know what does not serve you anymore, which is a huge deal. So yes, if you're feeling a little turmoil right now, if you're feeling a little bit of emotions, if you're feeling a lot right now, guys, it's there for you to heal. Take advantage of the energy so that you can step into your power. That is a 41 breaking into a five. Yes, guys, you have a three, four, and a five. Come out with that amethyst. Yes, we love that. And that is a 41. Okay, guys. Same with the affirmation, you can breathe it in, repeat after me, whatever works best for you. Yes, listen, a profound transformation is taking place in your life. After much soul searching, you are now back in control. A new you is emerging, poised with a renewed sense of confidence. You can move forward with certainty. The past is now behind you. The hard work has been done. All you have to do is decide what it is that you truly want. All is now possible. Possible. Listen to your heart and don't settle for second best. Set your course and then go for it. Be certain, be confident, and it's all yours for the taking. Bless be. Manifest, guys. Holy crap. This is confirmation that whatever you want in your true essence, the true vibrational being you are, it's yours. You no more second best, no more self-doubt. Self You've healed this. You're healing this so that you can step into this beautiful, confident, white light being that you are. I give thanks for the transformation and healing that has taken place. I move through life with gratitude. I move through life with certainty and I move through life with confidence to achieve my goals. What I focus on, I create. Yes, guys, look into the law of attraction also, okay? Just know if you set your mind to exactly what you want, be specific, tell spirit what you want, manifest it, guys, because it is yours. This is also a message for me of just really keeping things balanced. I think you will come out of this very balanced. If you're feeling highly emotional right now, yeah, that kind of doesn't surprise me with the energy we're in, but it's almost over. Take advantage of this energy. Take advantage of feeling a little shadowy and dive deep into these feelings and what they mean for you. But yeah, guys, holy crap, manifest. But I also am seeing, I said with this too, I was seeing like Ace of Swords. Now it's coming really clear to me why I'm seeing Ace of Swords. With this, I need you to be super specific about what you want. Be clear to spirit so that they can assist you on this path, okay? Wow. That makes sense why I'm seeing Ace of Swords now. Good, 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 good. Wow, look at this being you are about to walk into. You got confidence twice. You're going to feel a way you've never felt before, and you will know what is destined for you, right? Like, I feel like you went through this phase of, like, the door being slammed in your face. That sounds kind of bad, but, like, it's like you had all these ideas and these things you wanted, and it's like, it never works out. That's, like, what my head's telling you guys have been saying to yourself. Like, oh, it never works out for me. I don't deserve this. Like, am I even worthy of being here? Yeah. You are. <laughs> Absolutely. Whatever you want, it is yours for the taking, Taurus. Oh my god. So let's see what angels are coming in to assist you, as well as any messages from our archangels. Can you tell me more about Harmony Spirit? Wow, communion. Yes, I feel like this could be finding like-minded folk, like-minded people coming in. Yes, what I was getting before, this vibration you have, like this person you are, this being you are, as well as what you're trying to manifest, it does for the greater good. It does great for Mother Gaia. It does great in assistance. Remember, yes, we are one person, but we have one job of raising the vibration of the earth and all of us do it in a different way. You might feel like you, I feel like you're almost like a leader in a sense like you almost feel kind of emperor or maybe empress however that resonates with you I'm feeling very emperor vibes whether you're female or male gender doesn't matter remember we all have um, solar and sacral we all have masculine fen okay this feels very like masculine though like powerhouse to me like it's beautiful and lovely but oh my gosh you're feeling powerful and confident and maybe like-minded individuals are coming in um, as well as the book said something about finding help with the reflection this could be a message of finding like-minded individuals who you trust 
okay? You'll know in your intuition, if you trust them, to help heal, help get through this shadowy stuff so that you can step into your power. Um, Raphael, Archangel Raphael, is all about healing. So this is a healing of a community coming in, okay? A group, a group of like-minded individuals is what I'm feeling. And then um, call on Archangel Raphael to help heal your heart chakra at this time. Can you tell us more about reflection, spirit? Yep, that came out. Oh, courage. Yes, some of this stuff, I don't want to say crap, some of this stuff that you're healing, it might be dark. I don't want to be like dark. Remember, remember, remember. We cannot have the light without the dark. Dive deep into this. Some of this might scare you. Some of the feelings you're having, you're going to be like, oh my gosh, like, why am I feeling this? This is this feels too shadowy for me. No, guys, you have to deal with that. You have to let it come to the surface so that you can heal it and live with it and work with it and use it to your advantage. This is a time for you to call on your angels for assistance. Use Mother Gaia's support through this process and know that when you're feeling alone, confused, scared of what you see, remember that your angels want to help you. Pray. They want to assist you. This is Archangel Hanal. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I always hope I am um, with courage. Guys, have the courage to do this work because, oh my gosh, what is coming in for you is beautiful. All right, Spirit, can you tell us more about Amethyst? Oh, oh, okay, we'll take, yes! This is all about shifting your mindset and manifesting. And once we catch ourselves in a negative thought pattern, guys, we can switch it. Like I said, catching it is the first part. Before you go to bed, just say four things out loud you're grateful for. When you wake up in the morning, thank Mother Gaia for her beautiful energy under you, supporting you. You have so much to be thankful for. Yes, this position right here, it doesn't feel that pretty yet, okay? And But I promise beautiful things are coming in. And just know that even when you're in this kind of, I don't want to say rut, but when you're facing this kind of stuff, the rest of your journey will come at ease once you heal this. But just know that even in this situation, in this mindset, it is very easy for us to get caught up in negative thought patterns. Time for you to just switch it, okay? Catch yourself, write a journal, why am I feeling this way, release it, and then just switch it with gratitude. Oh gosh, uh, I can't believe I feel that way. I can't believe I have this problem. Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. That's so dark. I feel so dark. No, no. Say, oh, I am so thankful this is coming to the surface so that I can heal it. How can I use this to my advantage, right? And I am going to stop my camera so it doesn't die and I will be right back. Okay, guys, thank you. But yes, now is the time to have courage. Switch that mindset. Be grateful. But also remember those who surround you with love and light, you will know. You will have the support you need. I feel like I feel like you're so emperor. Like, whatever you're doing, it feels like you're leading. And you know, if I'm talking to you, you're like, yeah, I always felt like I was destined to lead or for something more. But remember, that sword you wield has a lot of power and influence right now, as well as telling spirit exactly what you want. Feels so ace of swords it's not even funny all right guys let's get some tarot out and see what else i can tell you about harmony and communion courage and reflection and then gratitude with that amethyst again two moments in here of just having this confidence and power in yourself you have the confidence to be courageous at this time, okay? I know it may feel a little dark and shadowy, but oh my gosh, when that light comes back out for you, that sun, you are going to feel so rejuvenated like you're almost a new being. Yes, we love that. All right, Taurus, let's see what's coming out for communion and harmony. <sighs> communion and harmony for Taurus, please. Communion and harmony for Taurus, please. <laughs> there we go. And it's kind of coming out sideways, but I'm going to lift it up and we're going to see. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys, with communion, that's beautiful. This could be soulmate energy as far as like people, like-minded people surrounding you. This does symbolize marriage in a happy home. It doesn't have to be marriage. It could be marriage within yourself. Like I said, this duality, this final moment of you being like, oh, this is my song. 
this is my energy, this is who I am, I am balanced in my sacral, my solar plexus, I am open receiving light from Mother Gaia. This is happiness and fulfillment, guys. Yes, you are promised like-minded individuals who will surround you with love and light, guys, and the person in yourself. You're going to feel at home, complete within yourself, guys. Oh my gosh. Yes, we love Four of Wands coming out for you, Taurus. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Yes. And then courage and reflection, okay? What's it? Oh, did that? Did something come out? Or did it come in? Oh, there it is. Okay, just wanted to show you guys something did come out. Oh my God. Confirmation right here. Guys, the only thing holding you back from this harmony, this transformation, you coming into your confidence is yourself. If you note these swords are surrounding her, and each of these swords could be a different problem, a different person, a different shadow issue you have to deal with. Different, remember, yes, thank you, Spirit, the mirrors. Like each person is a reflection of ourselves and what we don't like about them. Hmm, why are they triggering me? Why are they bothering me? What is it about myself? Right? So each of these surrounding you are different shadow things, different people different ideas that just bother you to the core. But look, you are not locked up, you are not chained. You have a rope around you and you can release yourself from that. And Spirit is telling you how to do it. Time for you to face yourself, look in the mirror, look at those around you, release what does not serve you and have the courage to do so because you, you can get out of this. But it's just time for you to face it. Oh my God. All right, gratitude and amethyst. Ooh, how beautiful. I just saw the strength card too, guys. Just letting you know. I try not to tarot peek, but I am a tarot peeker. <laughs> Can you tell us more about amethyst and gratitude, spirit? I'm just seeing like mindset. Like just switch your mindset. Um, yes, it's going to be tough for you to release yourself from this energy, but like just have gratitude. Like I said, just little things. Switch, catch it and switch it. Amethyst and gratitude spirit. <sighs> She's like, you know. <laughs> I don't know why I said she. Huh. <sighs> All right. <sighs> Amethyst and gratitude for a Taurus. What does Taurus? There we go. Okay, so this is coming out facing you, so we're going to read it like this. I'm choosing a pathway. You have decisions to make right now. You're probably feeling a little bit of lack of clarity. Spirit's almost like you're telling us two ideas, right? It is time for you to leave this wand and go on to this wand. But Spirit wants to know, Ace of Swords, exactly what wand it is that you're going to. So be super specific about what you want, because this is confirmation right now that you have the power to step into that. Have gratitude for what... Oh, thank you, Spirit. Have gratitude from what you learned from this old wand. Okay? This old wand served you. You learned a lesson. It was not for waste. Okay? Wow, that's beautiful. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now is the time to really ground yourself. Um, it, I'm showing lack of balance right now, but that doesn't mean it won't change. Okay? Uh, Knight of Pentacles, maybe you're not being patient in this process. You're like, I've done the work. I've done the work. I promise. I promise. I promise. But maybe it is time for you to really reflect and see what else needs to be cleared up. Yeah. No big deal about this. Don't worry too much that this came in in reverse. I always say tarot is to draw our attention to something because you need to be super specific about what it is that you want that you're going to manifest but oh my gosh after you get through this period right here I feel like this is you now okay but look at what you're coming into like-minded people not only that duality with yourself and harmony and also this transformation this confidence and just switching your mind to a mindset of gratitude just draw attention to the things that have change your relationship with money and things like that too um it's almost like just be thankful for what you do have okay Okay, guys, I hope that was a good message for you. It is so beautiful. I'm sorry if you're going through this right now, but I promise, look at that light at the end of the tunnel. Completion and happiness promised for you. Be thankful for the wand you do have, but I need you to be super specific about what you want. Trust your intuition and know you will know in your gut what serves you the best, the highest vibrational purpose for you and yourself, okay? Okay, Taurus, thank you so much and have a good day.